Hey y'all, welcome back. I um I got a thrift haul. I don't have no excuses. I ain't even trying to come up with none. I was telling you guys about that at Dosh. A lot of people was skeptical, but I did have some people join up and I did some shopping and I saved some money and I was able to pull $41. I made $41 over the last couple weeks. $41.47. And I pulled it off and put it on my PayPal card. And I decided I was going to go get myself something today. That was it. That's all it was to it. So I um, went out to, it was 25 cent day at um, the treasure chest in Allen, Texas. It was 40% um, off at um, St. Fenton de Paul's. And then there's another little store right around in the same Burlington Coat Factory on, if you guys are local, on um, Parker and Central Expressway. There's a, that's where St. Vincent's is. But if you come around the side, on the other side, where you can go back out on Parker, there's another little store. It's called Save the Troops. And I always talk about the store. I actually mentioned that I thought they had closed down a couple months ago because I went there and it was nobody there. But they're still there. I did. I stopped past there today. And then I did go to Hobby Lobby yesterday to look for that little um, salt and pepper shaker thing. I was telling y'all from yesterday's video. And y'all, I walked in. And when I tell you the gods were shining, the thrift gods were shining down on me. And it wasn't even in the thrift store, in Hobby Lobby, but the thrift gods was with me. So, I am a bargain shopper. Let's just call me that, right? I'm a bargain shopper. I like a good bargain. Um, so, I decided I wasn't going to be going way out for Christmas. Because it just wasn't going to happen. And I said, let me just run around here. I'm not, you know, I was over the whole Christmas thing and that's that. So, I said, let me see what they got right at Hobby Lobby so I um just you know like I said I was looking for the salt and pepper shaker and they look like roses well I found two they had them for some reason at a dollar and 74 cents in the 75 percent off section did I pay a dollar 74 for them no I didn't I paid oh yeah yeah, I did. I paid $1.74 for them. $1.74. And the other one was $0.49. Cent. I don't know why they, this one is. But it was. Uh, these were the last ones. So I got them. I got two of those. They go with my tea set that I showed you guys the other day. Okay. Then I got this. It was $4.99. So it came to $0.50. Cent. $4.95. This. Now, I got this to go into my um, William Sonoma, the hot cocoa pitcher I have on my thing. This takes four cups of milk and it makes some hot chocolate. Now, I don't know when I'll use it anytime soon, but for 40, 50 cents, I got it. And then I got something for 80 cents, which was this. And they wrapped this thing up good. I appreciate this packing paper though, because that's what I need. I got that. And this was $3.99, right? Yeah, so I paid... 40 cent for it. So that's why it's 80 because I got two. Ain't that cute? I got, I showed y'all these in the other video. So I got two more. Um, And this was $3.99. Another popsicle. Like, you know, I had two popsicles, the same one with the bite out of it. So I found this one. And I'll use these all year round for my display things. So all together, I paid $24, after tax, $24.94. It came to $23.04. And then it was $24.94 after tax, right? But let me show you what was $20. Because I spent $20 on something, y'all. Me. And it wasn't a tree. Y'all, look at her. In all her glory. Look at her, y'all. She is not light. I'm going to show you up underneath. <sighs> oh, she's heavy. That's the... Oh, I just hit the wall. The only part that has a little hollowness is like right in here. Other than this, it's all around. You see, all of, I'm trying not to hit over there. All of that, she's metal, y'all. Look at her. She was, so they had, somebody had returned her, so they put the price back on here. It was $199 Christmas. It says $199.99, $199.99. But Christmas was 90% off. So I paid $19.99, y'all. $19.99. Ain't she cute? I can't wait. You know what? I thought, guess what? It's winter. She might sit out for a little while. She might, she might have a little place in here for a little while. Look at her. 
So whoever returned her at the moment that I was, when I tell you that it was a blessing, because even when I walked up to the front, the lady, the cash cashier, she said, where'd you get that? Like, looked like she had a little attitude. I was like, miss, miss, fix it, fix it. No. She said, oh, no, I mean, where'd you find that at? Because if I would have found it first, you wouldn't have gotten it. I said, well, I found it first. I said, evidently it was meant. I said, the lady was putting this stuff out. And I kind of was like, whoa. And I grabbed it. And I said, it, I said, well, and I looked and I thought it said 1999. So I said, 1999. And she said, yeah. And I, she, I said, well, where is her sister or her brother or one of her cousins? Because I was ready to go grab up some more. And she said, oh, no, it's, um, she said, this is the 90% off. This is the only one that's left. Now, y'all. This was in Allen, Texas. I snatched this thing up just like this, and I walked right up to the register. I kid you not. So then I had about maybe good five people up front talking about this. Like, what? Where did that come from? And I said, so the lady was at the register. She said, be careful because you might get jumped in the parking lot. Oh, it was so fun. We were all laughing, you know. But, yeah, it was so funny. But the way she said it at first, she was like, where'd you get that? I said, fix it, lady. Fix all of that because you don't know who you're playing with. Um, you know, you know, I'm joking, but no, we were, we were just joking. We were having a nice time, but she is gorgeous. Okay. Now to the thrift haul. Oops. I am just, see, I can't be dealing with this. I'm banging in the stuff. Okay. I went to, like I said, three thrift stores and I'm going to start out with the smallest one first. I went, this is the one that saved the troops. The prices are not really good. Like I like them. However, they, um, is this the one? Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, the prices are not good like I really like. However, um, they, it is a good cause. I spent $7 in there. I didn't get much. Okay, I got this. This is Certified International, and it is Napa, it's called. It was regularly $29.99, and I've got it for $2, but wait. I got that. Now, you know, I'm doing that bookshelf thing. And I was looking for some pieces that I could coordinate on there. And so it came with the lid, right? Ain't that cute? Now, I'm going to sit this right here for a second because I want to show you something else like that. Okay. Now, that's some bubble wrap. I'm going to save that. And um, then what else I got from there was, y'all look at this. This is a solid silver bangle. Look at that. Do y'all remember, these are the bangles that I told y'all about the lady that um, was in my neighborhood that said, wear those bangles that jingle because, because she could hear them jingling. I had a bunch of these when I was younger. A lady, a girl down the street that I was friends with, her mother used to go to the Bahamas every year and she used to bring us back these. And um, I kept these, I had these for so long. And then there was a guy um, who was from, I think he was from Jamaica and he used to sell them too. Um, and I had maybe about a good 10 of these that I wore on my arm, right? So, and then as years went on, I don't know what happened to them. I remember I brought my daughter a couple sets. She had, when she was first born, she had the baby ones. Then I brought her a couple sets because I had her wearing them too. And then I found two bracelets, two brass, right? And they just jingle so well, but I don't like to wear the brass with it. So I got to find more of these. I hope I find more of these in the bags. But these are brass, and I love brass, too. I wear these on a separate day. These were $0.50 cent a piece. Nice. This says 925 sterling. Ain't that gorgeous? And it's nice and heavy, y'all. Look at that. Solid. Nice and heavy. And then it says some something else. It got like a flower imprint on one side, and that's where it says the 925 sterling right there. So then I got this. And this is Wilson's Leather. Why am I buying bags? I, I don't know. She said $3 and it's Wilson's Leather. Wilson's Leather was always, in where I grew up at, Wilson's Leather was like a really ritzy little place in the mall. And um, they had really nice leather. And I inspired to grow up. Aspired? I don't know, y'all. But I wanted it when I got older. I was like, I'm going to get some of that. Well, I got a whole bunch of stuff from there since then. And they don't, I don't even think they're there anymore. But look. Ain't that cute? It's a cute little white bag. It is crisp clean. Now, will I ever use it? I don't know. I'll hold on to it till the spring. If I don't use it, I'll probably get rid of it. But it was cute. Okay, so that was from that little store. I paid $7 for the bracelets, that bag, and this. Now, I went to, um, I'm going to do the 25 cent. 25 cent day at 
the treasure chest. Everything in the store is 25 cents. Okay, it does. They do it every, um, the first weekend of the month and the third weekend of the month. It's in Allen, Texas at Boyd and, it's right off of Central Expressway, down Boyd, at Boyd and Allen Drives. So it sits right on the corner of Boyd and Allen Drives, right across from the post office, if you're local. And um, everything in the store on Thursdays, because they only do it Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, like I said, first weekend and third weekend. Everything in the store on Thursday is a dollar. Opens from 8, closes at 12.30. In the afternoon. Friday opens at 8, closes at 12.30. Everything is 50 cents. And I don't care what it is. It is 50 cents. Or, you know, on Thursdays, it's a dollar. Then on F Saturday, they open at 8. They close at 12.30. And they are, a everything's a quarter. Everything's a quarter. They open back up at 2 or either 2.30. I cannot remember. And you get a kitchen trash bag full of anything in the store for $3.00. Or you get one of those plastic totes, the large totes, for $2. You can fill that up for $2. So they have clothes. They have housewares. They have books. They have all kinds of books, albums, everything you could think of. They have it in there. So I went this morning. I never go back on the app when you can fill up the bags. It's just, by that time, it's just nothing I want. And I'm just over it. And, you know, it is what it is. So I went today because I haven't been in a few months. I haven't been there in a few months. And I said, let me just run down. And like I said, I uh, took the money off of my, out of my Dosh account and put it on my PayPal. So I had $41.47 free, free and clear. So I was like, you know what? And it was, I did nothing but just announce the app. And that's, and when they, when I bring that thing back up, I mean, when they do it, they might do it. They do it normally around a holiday where they give that bonus sign on fee. You guys got to sign up for it. I'm telling you, because one girl on YouTube, Gabe, from um, Gay Babe TV, she's in over $7,000 now that she done made off of this. It's not nothing where they're paying you. It's not nothing that only YouTube people can do. Anybody can do it. If you sign up for it, you get $5 on the spot once you add your card to it. The person you signed up under will normally get 10 but they had ran for like the last two days. It was 15 Then you could, um, after you do that, you can sign up anybody you want and you get the signing bonus and they get the sign up bonus. And then it goes on and on. They're just trying to get the app notice. I don't know how many times they'll do it again, but I had $41.47 that I could switch over and I did it. So, and you got to get the $25. You got to get to the $25 mark before you can cash your cash out. And that's it. Now, mind you, the rest of the year, you just save. At any given time, you'll be in a store paying or online shopping and your phone will make a noise and let you know that you just got cash back. Because it runs by your card number. If your card number is swiped to purchase at a certain place where they have the discount, um, you you will get the cash back right on your phone quick, just like that. And it goes into your Dosh account. And then you switch it from your Dosh account to PayPal, to your checking account, to wherever, you know, wherever you want it. But anyway, that's what that was about. So look, I got this. Now, this is Lennox. Right? Really nice. But you know what I thought for my little shelf that I'm doing? Look, they ain't too far off from each other. They're kind of cute. That could kind of go together, right? And this will be something that can sit on my little shelf. For my little um, French country little shelf that I'm trying to put a few pieces on. That's not bad. So, I paid $2 for this and $0.25 cent for that. So, for $2.25, that's a nice little um, shelf filler. And um, then, from the same place, I got this. Most of the stuff came from there. Because I think I got like eight things from there, I want to say. Yeah, because I spent $2 in there. $2 and then tax. Look at this. Ain't that gorgeous? My peacock, y'all. Peacock. Yep, going in the bathroom. Gorgeous. Ain't she cute? Who is this by? It don't have no name on it. But $2. I meant $2. Uh, 25 cents. So, not bad. Cute. Okay, so then I got the th other, another thing you got to take your bags in with you. And when you take the bag in, I'll show you how they put the uh, little stamp on it to say it's yours. I can't wait to show y'all my main thing I got. Okay, I got these. A quarter a piece. Would you look? They're getting ready to get cleaned up. I got two of these. 
I, now, this is how I clean pillows. I will, when I buy pillows from the store, these are not pillowcases, so you can't take them off and wash them. So I will saturate these with Lysol spray, right? I'll let them half, most of the way dry. Then I throw them in the dryer and it kills any, and you can't, nothing else live on that. Look at this pillow. That'll be perfect for the um, next winter coming. Little snowman, a quarter, y'all, a quarter. I got two of them, look. So I'm gonna go clean these up as soon as I finish this video. I'll be spraying these up and then throw them right in the dryer. And that's all you do. Take them out. I'm going to bag them up for the, and put them away with the Christmas stuff. And really, at this point, here's the thing. For small space living, I'm going to start doing my tip stuff, y'all. Ways that I do it. Because I know a lot of people ask me that. Speaking of that, if you have any questions for me, um, reasonable questions, um, leave the questions in the bottom of this video. Because I'm going to do a, a little cute little Q&A. Q &A. Something just to let, because I got a lot of new people. And a lot of people don't know. They're like, girl, where you work at? <laughs> what you doing? You know what I mean? So I have to, I'm going to just, you know, answer those questions again. But, and I never really did a formal one, but I'll do it, kind of. So I want to do it in the next couple of days. So please leave your questions below, and I'll glance through a couple. Um, but anyway, the, now, small, small space dwellers. You know, Hobby Lobby has 50% off their pillow uh, covers, right? Every now and then, you can keep watching their weekly ad. And when it's 50% off, you get really good deals on those pillow covers. I always pick them up. I got a bunch of pillow covers. These can come out for Christmas. And you don't have nowhere to store them? Well, just put a cover on it for the next thing you're doing. Then put a cover on it for the next. Because the covers are easy to fold up, slide in a the drawer. They're away. And then that way, you can you continuously use the same pillow, but you're just changing out the colors for if you want to use it in your bedroom or you just want to keep it on the sofa in the living room, but you want to, um, you know, have a different, you know, it's Easter. You get a bunny rabbit and cover it. So that's it. I was spending too much time on that, y'all. Okay. Then I got, okay, I'm going to show you this so I can move this out of my way. Look, y'all. I'm doing the bathroom. I'm going to probably have to create something, some type of art for it. So I just wanted a um, canvas. Now, okay. <laughs> Wait, can y'all see it all? Did y'all see all that? Did y'all see all that? I can't even get you to see it all. <laughs> I can't. What you can see on here is half of it. It is, I want to say it is about, let me see, four feet tall. Yes, four feet tall. Four feet tall and two feet wide, probably. So, I want to do it long ways, and I'm going to do something in the peacocky look. So, I don't know if I'm going to find maybe a poster. I don't know what I'm going to do. And, like, maybe decoupage. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to do some kind of artwork for the bathroom. That was a quarter for that giant. Now, imagine going to find a two foot by four foot, um, what's that thing called? Um, what are they called, y'all? Um, y'all know what it is. <laughs> canvas. Lord, with a frame, you know, on the frame. Canvas on the frame. Okay. That I got, and that was 25 cents. I don't even know how much they cost, y'all. I don't know. Because I only buy mine from the thrift store. Okay, then I found these, and I got four of them. They have a little lime, a lemon on some, a pink, you know, a little piece of citrus fruit. But guess what? That don't bother me. Now, I, I don't, I would never drink out of this, but I thought of this for a DIY. I can spray this, watch. So I got three of them. Wait. Did I get four? No, I got three. All right, so we take this off. I'm gonna show you just like this. And say you need a lift for something that you're doing, right, for your table. This right here can be glued and sealed together, right? This plastic. This could be glued. Now, it's going to be only, I'll do two like this, right? And then you can take it and spray paint it with like the mirror spray paint, the gold, the silver, whatever color you want. And this can, can become some beautiful piece. You could even leave it clear and fill the inside with filler. You could do whatever you want to do. I think I would just do it like this and then uh, spray it, a metallic, and then use it as a, um, you know, a cake stand, whatever you want to use it. Anything you want to do to build something up. But that's a cute little piece. Look at that. That's cute. And that's why I got it. It was a quarter. And I got three little cups in there. And then, um, all right, I'm getting down to the end. See, they give you this little thing. So 
when you walk in to clip it on your bag so they know you didn't take the bag. Yeah, somebody was stealing bags in there. They didn't used to do that. This was made in India. It's a candle holder. It was a quarter. Ain't that cute? That, again, another, you can make a cake stand out of this if you want. Anything, something short, a little serving piece. Put a nice bowl on it. Do whatever you want to do. Piece of marble, anything you want. Put a candle in it. So, for a quarter, I got it. Really cute. And then I got this. This is the last thing I got from there, I think. Yeah. Now, I'm going to spray paint this a pink. It's metal. And it looks like it has something wrapped around it. But I'm going to spray paint it either silver or pink. And then wash this out and bleach it. And I'll put use this for my room as a catch-all for like lotions and stuff like that. You know. To sit on my bookshelves. It's a nice piece. Look at that. Actually, you could use this anywhere. In your pantry, in the bathroom, anywhere. Actually, this might go in the bathroom. It might. I don't know. We'll see. So I got to wash that out and spray it. And then, okay, now I'm going to, into St. Vincent's. I went to St. Vincent's. I'm trying to get this done, y'all. Enough. And I still got money left from my gosh money on PayPal. I spent 24 in there and seven. 24, two, and seven. So 24 and nine. I spent 30 some dollars out of the. I still got, I know I still got money left. Um, okay. St. Vincent's, like I said, they sent out the 40%, it, but it was not, oops, my battery's running low. It wasn't the, um, it wasn't that you had to have the coupon on your phone. Sometimes you walk in and you have, if you guys are still here, I think they're open till seven. If you're local, Dallas and uh, Plano, you can go to the St. Vincent. This is 40% off everything in the store today. So if you're local, you're watching this early, I'm trying to get it up. Look, y'all. Ain't she cute? Y'all, is she cute? She don't have nothing written on the bottom. But she was $6.99 with 40% off. So that came to what? 7 times 4 is 28 $2.80 off of 7 was five, $4.20. $4.20. $4.20. Now, I love her. She's so cute. She's going to be so cute in the summer. But I, I, I don't think I'd mess with her too much in the winter. But this would be so cute for a, a barbecue. I thought that was so cute. Um, let me set her down here. Now, this just means I got stuff to put away now. Which I was... Oh, I ain't doing no more thrifting, y'all. I'm serious. I just... I couldn't even find stuff that I really needed. All right. This is so cute. Easter is coming. Easter is coming. So, I don't want to hear nobody's mouth. Look at her. Oh, she cute. These came from Pier 1. <laughs> so cute. It was $1.39 with 40% off. So what is that? Um, 40 and then uh, 10. 50 cent off of $1.39. So what's that? 90 cent. 90 cent. Cute. She's so cute. But wait, she got cousins. So cute. Look, so you see, I got four of them with different. They had eight of them in there, but one of them looked a little distressed. So I just said, I'm going to take one of different looks. See, that one's looking straight on. That one's looking off to the side. They have some little writing on there, too. You see that? Different ones. So they're cute for Easter. And then I got, I'm going to show you real fast. This one. <laughs> and I got the last one. So, I'll have a little Easter table. Isn't it cute? Look at that one. So, I got four of them with different looks. Pier one, they were 90 cents a piece. I got four. Okay. Now, I got four of these vintage glasses. Are they gorgeous, y'all? Look at that strawberry. Oh, my God. They don't have a name. And they really need some washing. They were 69 cents with 40% off. So... I want to say, y'all, I don't know, like, what, 40 cent, 40 something cent, 45 cent-ish, maybe, 47 cent, cute, I got four of them, so cute, and they're all identical, same exact thing, and then, oh, wait, oh, I did get this, I got 
four of these napkin holders. Now they need to be polished up, they're silver. Um, but you know what, I can see myself spraying these. This one here, you see how that one's like kind of distressed a lot? Um, I might do a little DIY on these. They were $1.39, so they were 90 cents. Is it 90 or 80 cents? I don't know, y'all. Wait. It'd be the 90 or 80 cents. I don't know. Um, I got these were 69 cents too. Look at that. I got four of these. 69 cents, so 45, 47 cents. Look at that. Napkin rings. And then I got four of these. Look at this nice thick wood, y'all. And they were 69 cents too, so 47 cents-ish, maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing, y'all. And, oh, here's the receipt. I could have told you. Um... Six, they were minus, so I saved 20, 28 cents off of 69. So, again, my head is not into the uh, math that y'all are trying to make me do. All right, then I got this bag. I don't know. I got to look up the name of this bag. I never heard of it, but it was cute. Where'd she put my bracelet? I did get a bracelet, too. Maybe it's in the other bag. I got this little bag. And um, this is one of them crossbodies. That when you're going shopping, it got all these pockets in here. It's nice leather. And, um, you know, this is this can hold my cell phone because I checked it. That's why I got it. This can hold my cell phone. It got all these pockets for your credit cards, everything. My wallet, can, my cell phone and wallet can even fit in here. And this is by Chez, C-H-E-Z, Fine Leather Goods. I haven't looked it up. I don't know if I've ever heard of this. I don't think I've ever heard of it, but it was a nice pink crossbody with a whole lot of room. So, and it's good for hands-free shopping. That's what I liked about it. And, oh, y'all, I didn't realize I got this much. I didn't. Oh, these are the glasses. Okay, I only got one more thing left. But wait, I don't know what, I did buy a bracelet out of there too. I don't see it. She probably put it in something. If I find it, um, when I do my live tonight, I'll show you guys. Because she better had to put it in here. But I didn't see it. So I'll check and see if, uh, I don't see where it could have went. I'll see. Y'all look. Look at the color. Le Creuset. Who's color? Who keeps getting this? Yo, I got the stock pot. I got a bunch of pieces in this blue. Le Creuset ain't even, the, the kicker is not even this. $2.49 minus 40%. So I think it came out to $1.49, I want, want to think it was. Yeah, because 80 and 20 off. Yeah, a dollar off. So I got a whole dollar off of the $2.49. I paid $1.49. Le Creuset, y'all. Le Creuset. It keeps coming to me. And in this color, y'all. In that color. In the pot. So I got this um, cast iron frying pan. Le Creuset. Cast iron. Um, you know I'm cleaning her up. And she's going to be so cute sitting there. Yes, she is. Look at the wooden handle. I'm so excited. So I got that. That was it. And I still got money left on my... How much did I spend in here? This is where the money was spent at. Twenty-one to oh, that's right. That was where did I get that other receipt from? What was that from? Oh, Hobby Lobby. So that wasn't included in here. Today I spent twenty-one dollars and fourteen cent in St. Vincent's um, off my Dosh account, right? Plus I spent two dollars at the treasure chest, so that's twenty-three forty-one. Plus I spent seven dollars even at that place, so. It was twenty three forty one and seven. Yeah, I still got like four, like thirteen. Um, maybe I've like twelve dollars left on my card. Twenty dollars. I meant twelve dollars left out of my Dosh money, and I got all of this stuff. Y'all need to be thrifting. If you ain't thrifting, you better think about it. Leave some questions in the bottom. 
Um, I, I'm probably not going to answer the questions tonight because I'm going to do jewelry and really get into that. And then I want to do a little chit chat. But maybe tomorrow or Monday I'll do a um, answer some of the questions off of this video. So if the questions are there, put them. If you ha Even if you already asked a question on another video, I'm not going to be searching all the um, videos. I want to just come to this one and look at the uh, questions and then I'll answer it. And reasonable questions, guys. You know. So, okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.